Okay, and we're on to shelf five. First up, we have, these are in a little tight, so. Uh, the Breakfast Club. This movie's a classic. I owned it on every format that's existed, and it's awesome. Uh, you can never go wrong with the Breakfast Club classic. Brightburn. Um, what if Superman was evil? Great stuff, really. Honestly, that movie's really underrated. Uh, Bruce Lee Collection. Uh, this is uh, a custom cover again. It's got um, uh, The Big Boss, Fist of Fury, Way of the Dragon, Game of Death, and Enter the Dragon. Um, mainly because the, you know, the cover that it came with, you know, like Enter the Dragon wasn't part of it, and I wanted it part of it, so it's there. Here's another for our Unearthed Earth fans, and that's Brutal. I gotta say, this is one of Unearthed's best releases. This movie is awesome. I can't say enough about it. If you've never seen Brutal, you know, especially if you're into brutal cinema, you're, um, you're doing yourself a disservice. You gotta see Brutal. Next is The Burbs. This is the German Blu-ray, as you can no doubt tell, from Mein Tyson Flufen or whatever the hell it says. Um, I got this back when, before there was a proper blue release over in, like, the U.S. and Canada. And um, I got it for, like, five bucks, and it's worth it. It's got, like, features and everything. It, it's, it's awesome. And we got Burning. It's a South Korean film based on a Haruki Murakami novel, so a Korean film based on a Japanese novel. Kind of neat. And we got The Burning. Uh, we actually watched this in uh, black and white uh, the other the other week for our Black and White Nights commentaries, and it was really good in black and white. Good stuff. Then we got from Kino Lorber, uh, Burnt Offerings. This is one of those ones that's just creepy, and it just works. Then we got uh, Burying the X. Um, this is also obviously in like a German release. Um, I just, again, like with um, like with the Burbs, I I just couldn't be bothered getting the like trying to find the American release. I found this for like you know four bucks or whatever. It's like yeah, I'll take that. Next we have the Bye Bye Man. Um, it's not a good movie. At all. But, you know, it, it's in the collection. And I'm pretty sure this is signed as well. Let me take a look. Yeah. Right there. Signed. So that's kind of cool. Now we have... Um, I've never known what this is called. C Control or C something. I don't know. It's an anime series. It's kind of cool. Yeah. And uh, Cabin Fever, essentially, um, Eli Roth's, like, only really good movie. And uh, Cabin Fever, Patient Zero. This one is actually a lot better than people give it credit for. Um, it was honestly a really solid movie. I dug that one. And uh, Cabin in the Woods. It's Cabin in the Woods. It's awesome. The Arrow Video release of Candyman. I love this edition. It puts the Scream Factory release to shame. I mean, it's got this, like, book, a hard, uh, hard case and everything. Beautiful edition, and it's just awesome. Then we got uh, Candyman Farewell to the Flesh. Um, that's from Scream Factory. Just waiting now on um, Candyman 3. Hopefully someone puts it out, preferably not Vestron. Okay, then we got Cannibal Ferox. This is a Grindhouse releasing, uh, I think it's three discs. Um, yeah, uh, Blu-ray, DVD, and soundtrack, I think that's how it goes. But, uh, awesome flick. Honestly, it's kind of interesting because this, I'll, I'll get into this a bit with the next one, which is Cannibal Holocaust. Cannibal Holocaust is the better film I have no question at all that it's a better film, but Cannibal Ferox is more fun. If if you know, it's weird. 
you know, I, I, let's put it this way. I could put on Cannibal Ferox just about any time. Uh, Cannibal Holocaust, I gotta be in the mood for. Next we have a double feature. It's uh, Capote and uh, In Cold Blood. Then we have uh, Captain America Collection. Um, this is a custom cover again, but what this has in it is it has... Uh, I'll just open this up. Come here. It has... Captain America from Scream Factory, the original, like, uh, 80s or 90s movie, whatever. It's got, uh, Captain America the First Avenger, Captain America the Winter Soldier, and Captain America Civil War. Just all stuck in a nice, you know, yeah. Then we have, uh, Carrie, the franchise collection. Again, this is a custom cover, obviously. Um, it's got, uh, Carrie, the Rage Carrie 2. Uh, the Carrie miniseries and the the remake of Carrie. The remake of Carrie is not that great, but it's got a good soundtrack. I'll say that for it. Castle Freak, Stuart Gordon. Uh, pretty much a uh, adaptation of um, H.P. Lovecraft's The Outsider. Really solid movie. Awesome. Cat's Eye. Stephen King's Cat's Eye. Uh, it's all right. It's not, you know, super, but it's 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 decent. Cat of Nine Tails from Arrow Video. This has been re-released recently, and I've heard it looks really good. Um, this one looks fine. I'm sticking with what I got. Cat Planet Cuties, the complete series. Uh, a, what's it called actually in Japanese? Asobi ni Ikuyoi. I don't know. Uh, it, it's a fun, you know, little etchy, like, harem type show. Nothing special, but, you know. We got The Cell with Jennifer Lopez. Uh, this is one no one talks about, again, but it's uh, a really... It's honestly a lot better than people remember it. Then we got The Cell 2. I haven't watched this yet. I literally got this yesterday, uh, day before yesterday for $2.99. So, brand new, never opened, so, you know, we'll see. We got a double feature here, it's uh, Cellar Dweller and Catacombs. Uh, from what I remember this, I liked Cellar Dweller, Catacombs I was just kind of meh on. And we got uh, a certain Magical Index, uh, second season. This is, um, it says, it says part one, but it's actually the entire series, I just stuck all into one. And, uh... Certain Scientific Railgun, uh, complete uh, first season, and Certain Scientific Railgun S, second season. Honestly, it's funny, Railgun is actually better than Index, despite, you know, despite Index being the source material sort of thing. Next we have uh, The Changeling from uh, Second Sight, I think it's Second Sight. Um, this particular release is gorgeous. You know, a nice, like, chip box again. Awesome release. And you can't go wrong with it, really, because it's good stuff. Next, we have Chaos Head. Uh, complete series. This is uh, a custom cover, just because the one it came with was, like, a DVD case. We have from Criterion, uh, Che, part one and part two. Uh, I, don't, I don't even know whether I've watched those or not. It's been so long. And we got uh, the Chernobyl Diaries. Um, this is a movie that had so much potential, but it kind of lost its way. You know, like, it was going really good, and then it sort of changed up, and I don't know. It sort of went off the rails, I feel. We got uh, The Children. And uh, Children of the Corn. Children of the Corn 2, The Final Sacrifice. <laughs> Children of the Corn 3, Children of the Corn... Children of the Corn 3, Urban Harvest. Children of the Corn 4, The Gathering. Children of the Corn 5, Fields of Terror. And Children of the Corn 6, Isaac's Return. And uh, Children of the Corn Genesis. Chillerama. 
I haven't got around to watching that yet, though. The a Chinese Ghost Story box set. Uh, they're fun flicks, you know. So you got uh, Chinese Ghost Story 1, 2, and 3. They're pretty good, honestly. And uh, honestly, I'm really surprised at how good those Blu-rays look. This entire set was about... 20 bucks. I happened to get it from, uh, what was it? Some Hong Kong site, but it came out really good. Christine, a uh, complete uh, series of Chobits. Good anime right there. Chopping Mall from uh, Vestron Video. Uh, again, like I've said before, I, I will not pay full price for Vestrons. I just won't do it. Next we got uh, Christmas Evil from uh, Vinegar Syndrome. Really good. Chrome Skull, Laid to Rest 2. It's, a, it's an alright movie. The first one's a lot better. Just wish they had a Blu-ray of it. Chronicle. I love Chronicle. Great flick. Chucky, the complete collection. So, Child's Play. Child's Play 2, Child's Play 3. Bride of Chucky, Seed of Chucky. And Curse of Chucky. And then we have Cult of Chucky. <laughs> and the Child's Play remake. Um, I liked it. Honestly, I'll, I'll, some people, again, didn't really like it. I dug it. It was fun. And City of the Living Dead. Possibly Lucio Fulci's greatest movie. At least my personal favorite of his. Great stuff. That's the Arrow edition.